Palestinian-Israeli protest against France outside the French ambassador's residence in Tel Aviv. It's a part of a wave of anger after French President Emmanuel Macron refused to renounce controversial cartoons depicting Islam's Prophet Muhammad. Earlier this month, French teacher Samuel Paty was beheaded by a Chechen attacker after he showed his students the caricatures during a class on freedom of expression. Muslims consider it a blasphemy to show any depiction of the Prophet. French officials insist it's an act of freedom of speech. In Syria's war-stricken city of Idlib, protesters made their voice heard. In Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, they described Macron as an enemy of peace. You have no idea about the strength of Muslims. If we rise, you will see that. So be careful. Bangladeshi protesters held up signs with words from Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan who has said President Macron needs a mental health test. France recalled its ambassador to Turkey in protest, accusing Erdogan of even failing to condemn the murder of Samuel Paty. On Monday, the Turkish leader's spokesman responded by strongly condemning what he called the monstrous murder of Paty. But President Erdogan has thrown his weight behind the boycott campaign. I'm now telling my nation, just as they're saying in France not to buy anything from Turkish brands, I call on my nation here and now, do not pay attention to French labelled goods, do not buy them. Commercial businesses in Arab countries including Kuwait, Morocco, Algeria, Palestine and Jordan have taken measures to boycott French products. Almira, which is Qatar's leading retailer with more than 40 supermarkets across the country, has been the first to decide a total withdrawal of French products. They say it is a voluntary decision, but it reflects the collective desire of its customers. About 50 French brands have been removed from the shelves. They include food items, perfumes, dairy, hygiene and beauty products. I commend this decision by Almira, and I hope that other companies follow its example. This is the strongest weapon we have right now. At this shopping mall in Jordan, a sign reads, in solidarity with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, all French products are boycotted. Supporters of the boycott hope it will produce results. It's a statement of our position and I'm sure it'll reach the French officials and will certainly make a difference. France has criticized the boycott and asked for it to be stopped. But President Macron insists his country will never give in to pressure of any kind and will continue to fight what he calls Islamic separatism. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Doha. Yasser Luati is the head of the Justice and Liberties for All Committee. He says freedom of speech comes with responsibility. Uh, well, uh, first, uh, it is, you know, a question needs to be asked is how could France go from being celebrated around the world, the Muslim and Arab world, uh, after the uh, Jacques Chirac refusal to engage with the Americans to destroy Iraq, 2003, mm -hmm. being boycotted all over the region. It's a question we really need to ask. As for the declaration of you know, uh, President uh, Erdogan, well, how can Emmanuel Macron say that freedom of speech includes insulting Muslims, which actually it does, I mean, like, you know, but freedom of speech also comes with responsibility. If I, if I have the freedom of to express myself, it also means I have a responsibility towards the sensitivity excuse me, of others. Now, Erdogan says Emmanuel Macron needs to have his health, uh, mental health checked, where it could be either freedom of speech, provocation, but Emmanuel Macron cannot say it's okay to portray the Prophet of Islam in such a way and Muslims have to accept it. But when his little ego is a little bit scorched, he comes and complains officially. The second point is that when Emmanuel Macron speaks of freedom of speech, how come he never mentions the brave journalists who report from war areas? How come he does not speak about the journalists who have been prosecuted under his own administration?